Hello Nuggets. This is the third time I've made this video because it's really hard for me to talk about because I don't normally do it. It's about politics. So last night we were going to drive into Swan Lake and we were listening to NPR and they had the opening statements from the House Judiciary in regards to the impeachment. Uh, it's very confusing about which opening statements these are because there's a lot of hearings going on, right? So these are the ones that I heard last night on December the 11th. 2019 for point of reference so there are 41 members of the committee and i believe they speak alternately certainly what we listened to last night was republican democrat republican democrat and we heard eight speeches might have been 10 but i remember eight of them right so four republicans four democrats now to preface this i'm a liberal i don't think of myself as a democrat i am usually democrat right um but I'm a liberal. I have a belief in the way, you know, I believe in socialized medicine, healthcare. Um, I believe in increasing the minimum wage. I believe in a little bit more spreading of the juice, right? I believe in certain things that are liberal. I'm a fan of Bernie Sanders, right? I really like him. I, I believe in his approach is good. Um, I think there are some issues with the finances of the way he wants to run the country. But I'm a liberal. That's what I am. I'm a liberal. Um, but I'm not a Democrat just happens to be that Democrat usually fall into the area that I agree with. And some Republican issues I, be, I agree with, but mostly not, you know. Uh, like I believe in the abolition of slavery, slavery. I thought that was a really good move by the Republicans. Okay, so last night I'm listening to these speeches about the impeachment for Trump. And if you're a Democrat, as most of the people who are watching this will be, because, you know, you're in my circle, and we live in echo chambers now, right? So most of you will be Democrat. You should be really, really pissed off at our so-called representatives because they did a terrible job last night, a terrible job. When the Republicans made their opening statements about why the president should or shouldn't be impeached, they addressed the issue. They basically laid out what the Democrats were saying and their counterpoints. So they're saying... They believe he should be impeached for this. We don't believe so because there was no quid pro quo. The Ukrainian president didn't feel any pressure. There is no such thing as obstruction of justice. They've made this up. They laid out direct responses to the articles of impeachment, to the reasons for it, right? The narr I don't want to talk about whether their narrative is true or not. I just want to talk about how they debated. And the way they debated is the way that you're supposed to debate. Whether we like it or not, that, you know, whether we like the message they're sending is irrelevant. Their job in this impeachment hearing is to decide whether or not our president has broken the law, should be removed, has abused his power, has brought in a phone on government to aid in his own personal um, uh, political career or, or, ver or a crook or various other reasons, whatever the reasons are for impeachment. The point of the trial is to decide whether or not those are valid and true. That's what the Republicans did last night. The Democrats, on the other hand, the ones I heard, decided to use their time to stand on a soapbox. This is so fucking infuriating. To stand on a soapbox and tell us about what a wonderful country we live in and how we are beacons of democracy across the world and about how their grandparents came to this country and worked their fingers to the bone so that their children could go to college and then their parents went to college and realized there is a chance in this country that anyone can make it and even though my father was a poor janitor and my mother was a teacher or whatever the fuck it was they sent me through college, and now I stand before you as an American dream. One of them actually said, I am the American dream. What's that got to do with the impeachment? That has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not our president is corrupt, which is your job. Your job is to lay out the reasons. Why are you telling us what a wonderful country we live in? It feels so manipulative. It's like just waving a flag. It's like going, USA, USA. It doesn't mean anything. There's no substance. The purpose of these hearings is to decide whether or not the president should remain in his role. It is not for a small group of elected officials to decide whether the larger group, the electorate, the voters, are right or wrong about having President Trump in. Just because we don't like, just because they don't like President Trump, and I'm one of them, 
Can't stand the guy. But just because they don't like President Trump, it is not their job to remove him from office. That is not their job. That's our job. That's what we get to do in 2020. And judging by last night, if that's the way the Democrats run their business, if that's any indication of the campaign that they will run in 2020, and then the government they will run thereafter if they were to win, then Trump's going to win again. And not only is he going to win, he might win by a landslide. Because I think that there's this whole group of people in the middle that we forget about. We're at such extremes of the political spe spectrum now. People are so divided. I know it's a cliche it's said over and over. But it doesn't mean everyone is divided. There is a large group in the middle who like to think of themselves as rational thinkers who want to make choices based on what is the good of the country. I consider myself there. I think I'm a liberal. I think you would consider me right, left, very left wing. However, I like to think that I will make a choice based on what's best for the country. And if there was a really bad Democratic candidate, I wouldn't vote for them. And if there's a really bad Republican candidate, I wouldn't vote for them. And if, if that party is acting in a manner that is unbecoming for what I think is best for the country, I won't vote for them. Now, the Republicans fit that agenda every single time for me. Just almost without fail, I cannot stand them. But I didn't like Hillary Clinton. But I liked her more than Donald Trump. <laughs> I could never vote for that man. I never vote for that man. I think he's just terrific. And his party behind him, I think, is extremely corrupt. But if you're that middle ground and you're trying to decide which one you go to, do you go with the people who at the hearing said, let's talk about the facts, quote unquote, right? But let's talk about the facts. And let's, let me give you the reasons why we think they're wrong. Or are you going to talk? Are you going to vote for the group that says, yeah, don't worry about all that. Do you love your country? Do you? Do you love your country? America's a great country, isn't it? Look at the way we treat children and animals. And, and look at, look at our, our laws. Look at our democracy. Look at the way we vote. Aren't we good people? Yeah, impeach Trump. It was just horrific. It was horrific. It was absolutely shameful. Some of them literally were standing on a soapbox making speeches like they wanted to, they were about to announce their run for presidency. That's what it sounded like. There was one, um, there was one from Florida, one congresswoman, I think it was, from Florida, who basically just laid out about what her journey was in America. And it was, it's interesting. I mean, yeah, it's an interesting, she was born the daughter of it was florida born the the she's the grand her grandparents were slaves and then her parents were poor and it's a really good example of how amazing america is and i absolutely think it's a wonderful story and i'm glad that she's forging through and making the most in this country but what the fuck's that got to do with impeachment <laughs> does she not do the do the, do the democrats not know that there is a whole group of voters ready to swing and they just, if they do, then they're completely missing it. Those people are not going to vote for us. They're not going to vote for the Democrats. They're going to vote for the Republicans. Maybe they'll vote for the Republicans despite not wanting to. They might not want to vote for them, but they don't see a choice. Do I go with the people who manipulate me or do I go with the people who are addressing the facts in their own quirky way? They're going to vote for the people who seem more rational. Oh, it's so frustrating. If you're a Democrat, man, you should be so upset. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful way of conducting your business. All right. That was it. Don't listen to them. You'll get angry. <laughs> I love you all. Bye.